Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Marooned on Triton. So, we got a bunch of piping work done yesterday, or last time, last week. I don't know. It was 20 minutes ago per this recording. Uh, got a bunch of piping done, have some more piping ready to be done, but I've kind of run out of parts, and so it takes a while to produce more. So, let's see what I've thought of to keep myself entertained while things get built. Hmm. So, those parts are going to take a while. That will get things connected, though, so that'll be good. All the under stuff is done. Maybe I go and grab some more thrusters from the wreck while I'm waiting. Let's, uh... Oh. I no longer have a convenient access point. Uh, can I... Yes. Just squeeze my fingers through here. Maybe we'll go ahead and take... Get rid of all that. We'll take all the ammo and put it in that box up top side. That way the turrets are at least armed. Okay. Unlock. Batteries on to auto. Kind of thought I had a hotbar thing for that, but apparently not. Down comes the elevator because I'm too big and go through it. Uh, let's get in position. Hmm. I could use some reversing lights on this. No, I guess the lights of the elevator do a decent enough job when it gets down. Yeah, I do think this place will be pretty cool looking. Once I have vehicles all parked up down there. Taking the elevator up, I'll have a big ship. A uh, vehicle I forgot to take down that's now in the way of me leaving. Right. Well, uh, if I kind of pull over here, back Humpty up, I can park in the sort of waiting area. Yeah, I'll do that and then power down. Because I don't particularly want Humpty to run out of batteries. Okay. Humpty powered off. Let's stick that ammo in this box. And it's now been mostly sucked up into the turrets. Okay. Uh, yeah, they've got a relatively even smattering. We should be ready to roll. And in the daytime for at least part of this, and, hmm. That's not ideal. Okay, it's moving fairly fast, but it doesn't seem to be on a direct vector. Hmm. The sun's still got a little bit of time before it sets. In fact, I think it sets over there. I can't remember. Been underground too long. Huh. My fear is if I'm moving around, it'll be able to see me. 
guess I'm fairly camouflaged for what it's worth. Let's see if I just kind of go slowly. Maybe along the snow. Oh boy. There's dust kicking up. Doesn't seem interested. Yeah. Okay. So they don't seem to be as sort of all seeing as I was afraid they might be. I'll need to watch out closer to home. Well, closer to me, because closer to home is behind me now. And if one shows up while I'm out, I don't know how close they have to get to notice you. If one's crossing my path, I may not get so lucky that it'll be looking elsewhere. They do seem to go and check out that faint signal a whole lot. I wonder... Granted, it's so far away. I may not be able to... It may not be anywhere near that other thing. It may just be flying by. I wonder if they assume... Any threats will be drawn to that sort of thing. Or... Whatever's. I wouldn't call myself a threat. What's that? No, that's a mountaintop. Thought it was something for a second. I didn't remember seeing some structure out here, but never know. Speaking, okay. There's the wreck, at least. Wasn't 100% sure it was still here. Okay. Oh, and I did not bring any extra cargo. I think I'd thought about doing that last time. Were there more thrusters here before? I seem to remember... more. But maybe not. Let's see, it looks like there are three here? No, four. One was hidden. That's part of it. I think I have three back at base, and some of them didn't make it. can't remember how many the ship had on it. Yeah, I guess this is the correct amount. Okay. Well. See, I think these have been repaired best I could get them here. Oh, right, and they're batteries that I was interested in. Well, maybe let's get the these two thrusters on. Maybe this one that's sort of stacked on top. Because I should be able to carry three long-wise. And I have three little connectors, at least. And then I can come back and get this battery chunk and that other thruster later. I should be good if I just kind of lock myself down here. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I'm in control of the crane. 
but the 3D visual creators seem to be messing up. Because I can't actually move the viewpoint around. Um... Maybe if I go from here? Huh. Yeah, that's not quite right, but at least this is a slightly better angle. Okay. Part of this is going to be remembering how this thing works. Uh... Oh, right, and this was a separate connection. Yeah. Now... Can I... I would love... Nope. I would love to see a slightly... Di oh, I can zoom. Okay. I can see a slightly different view. It's not all that much better, but... This should work. I can, uh... Extend the arm out. My left and right are inverted. Extend that out. Nope. Okay, now I need... Oh, hello. This. Oh boy. Forgot how complex cranes can be. Let's try something. Okay. That's not quite the thing I want to try, but sure. So that's now there. Maybe it'll be better if we do this manually. Nope. Oh, except for the pistons are a pain to do manually. But I can control them from here. So if I pull these things back... Lower that... Oh boy. Lower that down like so. Check. Integrity still seems okay. I should be able to push it and it'll slide kind of like that. It's not perfectly angled, but I think I have some wiggle room. Uh, we'll just lock it down and see what happens. Locked. Okay. Now. Yeah. Computers are all messed up. I mean, I guess we take it for granted that they can just generate a visual of what's projected around us. But it's a real pain when it stops working. Uh, I can sort of see from here, so that's good. Okay. Probably the best we're going to get there. Let's pull these back. 
and control manually. Hmm, this is actually working pretty well. And put it there. Yeah, perfect. Right up against the other one. Okay. Now, if I raise myself, what will happen? We are pretty heavy. We're also nice and wide. Yeah, this seems to be... Guess I shouldn't be so surprised I designed the crane. Though in truth, that's probably why I'm somewhat surprised it works so well. You know, it's going to be a pain to get this close one in. Beyond that, maybe there, and then a little more scissor, bring this one forward. I should be in a position now where I can just lower this and lock. Yeah. Now uh, it's not perfectly aligned. I am kind of favoring my right side with weight, but hopefully the center of mass will still be center line even if it's high now I probably do need to stow this crane in such a way that it won't be a giant and er, giant tower coming off the front it's almost like it's designed to do this it may have actually been okay now, handbrake is on. Let's up our suspension again. We are clear, and maybe this light snow will cover us. So I think we go on the flat. Which means reversing a lot. Okay. We're handling well. Off we go. 
I'll have to try and remember next time to bring some sort of cargo container or even just the parts to build one. That way I can bring that and load it up with all the stuff there I don't want to carry physically. Ah, and there's my answer. That was morning when I left. The sun sets over there. Good to know. Ah, home sweet cave. Now with defenses. Though I do still need to finish the, uh... The roof of the tower. Now, there's that hole. Go... Yeah, over here. Uh, I've got four days of power, but I may just do this park over along these other ones. We'll unload them later. Turn the lights off. Yeah. So we'll leave that there. Ready with all these other thrusters. Go and put Humpty on the charger. I think he's earned it. Oh, and actually, Humpty will probably be the best way to weld up that pipe. Eh, it's almost like I thought about things. And eventually... Eventually, I won't need that connector there. Because I'll have the permanent ones. Which means I'll have access to cargo again. Which is good. So, into Humpty, we want to put... Motors... Construction components, tubes, and interior plates. I think that was it. Ah, here's the assembler with all the other bits. Okay. That should be enough to at least get some of the pipes. And because everything is flat down here, I shouldn't have to worry so much about, well, weirdness. I say as that happens. Huh. Yeah, my suit seems to be messing up in some way. I think that system's part of the suit. Well, I guess we'll monitor from this, and then... I did sort of intend that Humpty could be managed from first person, so... Yeah. Oh, uh, look at those pipes. Uh, how much? Okay. I don't know how many pipes worth of stuff that is, but probably pretty good. Oh, boy. Now, can I... I can barely even see. I don't know if I'll be able to reach. There's just one more pipe up there before the flat bit. And judging by sound, I got it. Okay. 
Good old Humpty. All right. Uh, let's get what bits are left. See about welding up that upper bit. Once that's done, the pipe should be complete all the way up to the turrets, which means I'm done with that. At least until it all explodes. Okay, here we go. Green pipes. I can't see the pipes on the ground, but I can see that one's green. The real test will be... I guess the real, real test will be to climb up this ladder and see if from this turret I can access the main cargo. So that would be, or even Humpty's cargo. And I can. So I can dump stuff there. And for building this upper level... Hmm. Do I want to use full block? I kind of like the idea of being at this level. So that I can kind of... You know, access these ports directly. The tower's not too much higher. And I don't have to worry about obstructing lines of fire. But, that means any shots down here will, uh... Will do damage to the conveyor. Though... Here's an idea. I'm already using these here if I use the corner blocks to replace the uh, these pipes the sort of corner turn reinforced that will produce a flat walking surface I can then get rid of this conveyor land up on a turret and then run the piping from here to here like so except I don't have any steel but I can get steel by doing that Yeah, and then with this set up, this becomes the top. I can put blocks in here. I can pretty easily come up and repair the conveyors, and I could put some plating or something over top of them just to make them more resilient. Still access everything nice and good. And then the welders should... Oops. do their part to keep at least this block and this block okay. Could I... Ooh. It would become real dangerous, but I could theoretically stick welders in these gaps. So, this corner and this corner facing up, put plate on top of them, and then they would keep these pipes repaired. Which would add even more resilience. But it would mean if you walk up here and the welders are on, and your tootsies get toasted. Maybe we won't worry about that. The welders will at least keep the turrets alive. And they hold enough ammo in them to keep going for a while, so they should be able to take out any threat. And even if the piping is damaged, I can come up here and repair the piping afterward. So yeah, that should work fine. Yeah, so... Got our tower. We can get all the way up to the top. Look 
climb out. Should maybe stick some railings up. Yeah. I can still access stuff fairly easily. Walk around, observe the goings on. I could come up here and shoot if I wanted to, though I don't think I ever would. I can even see off in the distance that nice looking planet that I kind of want to go to someday. And looking at that nice planet in the distance, I think that's where we're going to call it today. So, yeah, more progress. We got uh, piping finally kind of done. We have to do the connector bits and I think I forgot to actually run the pipe to that far off connector kind of on the opposite side of the wall. But that's all doable fairly easily. So yeah, making progress. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Feel free to check out all the other stuff I've done. And until next week, bye bye.